Hello, and welcome to the AI Research Roundup. I am Alex, your host. Today is May 10th, 2025. All right, so today we are looking at a fascinating research paper from Hugging Faces Trending List, published just four days ago on May 6th, titled Absolute Zero, Reinforced Self-Play Reasoning with Zero Data. This paper introduces Absolute Zero, a new way for AI models to learn reasoning. The idea is a single model generates its own tasks and solves them, needing no external data. It uses reinforcement learning with verifiable rewards, or RLVR, basically learning from definite outcomes, and presents the absolute zero reasoner, or AZR, a system that creates its own learning path using a code executor for verification. Okay, so this first figure really highlights the core achievement. On the left, a bar chart shows our absolute zero reasoner, marked with a star, uses zero curated data, that is, data specifically prepared by humans, while other methods use thousands of examples. Then, line graphs show its performance in math and coding, improving over training, even on out-of-distribution tasks. Tasks it has not seen before. And most impressively, the far-right graph shows the final absolute zero reasoner model, surpassing previous state-of-the-art, or SOTA. Models, meaning it achieves the best results seen to date in these areas. Okay, so this next figure really paints a clear picture of how Absolute Zero achieves this independence. It contrasts three learning approaches along a scale of decreasing human supervision. First, on the left, is supervised learning. This is where humans provide exact instructions or examples, essentially cloning expert behavior for the AI to follow. Next, there is reinforcement learning with verifiable rewards. Here, the AI learns more on its own, but humans still define the overall tasks. Finally, on the right, their absolute zero paradigm shows the AI autonomously generating its own tasks and then learning to solve them through self-play, needing no human-curated data at all. This autonomy is key to its scalability. Building on that idea of autonomous learning, this figure shows the absolute zero loop. At its heart is the language model, acting as an agent. This agent uses a policy or strategy for proposing tasks called backquote pi caret propose backquote and a policy for solving them backquote pi caret solve backquote. First, the agent suggests a task, an environment, basically a verifier, checks it and gives a reward if the task aids learning. The agent then tries to solve it, earning another reward if correct. Both proposing and solving policies improve together, creating this continuous self-sufficient learning cycle. Diving deeper into that self-sufficient learning, this diagram details the absolute zero reasoner training overview. The reasoner first proposes tasks of three kinds. Deduction, which is predicting an output given a program and input. Abduction, inferring an input given a program and output. Or induction, creating a program from input and output examples. These tasks are constructed, earning a learnability reward. Then, it solves these tasks, and a verifier checks the solution for an accuracy reward. Both rewards then jointly update the reasoner, guided by a task-relative reinforce plus-plus advantage estimator, a specialized method to optimize learning across these diverse tasks. All right, so moving to the results, this table really drives home the point. It compares different models on various reasoning benchmarks, which are standardized tests for AI performance in coding, like Human Evil Plus, and math, like AIME. We see base models, then zero-style reasoners, trained on human-prepared examples. But the exciting part is at the bottom, absolute zero training with no curated data hours. The data column here is zero, yet the absolute zero reasoner, especially its coder version, gets a great overall score, with a big jump in math performance from its base, all without any human-provided examples. Okay, so building on those impressive benchmark scores, this next figure gives us a closer look at both how the absolute zero reasoner learns and how that learning transfers. Part A shows the in-distribution accuracy, basically how well different sizes of the absolute zero reasoner model perform on the tasks they generate for themselves during training. You can see these lines generally trending upwards, showing learning progress, and the larger models, like the 14B coder, reach higher accuracy. Then, Part B details 
out of distribution performance, so how well these models do on tasks they have not seen before. This part reinforces that the absolute zero reasoner training significantly boosts both coding and especially math averages, with bigger models showing even larger gains. This ability to generalize is really key. So what this all boils down to is quite remarkable. The absolute zero reasoner shows that large language models can indeed teach themselves complex reasoning skills, like coding and math, entirely through self-play, without needing any human-curated examples. This autonomous approach not only works, but can achieve state-of-the-art performance, meaning it is among the best out there, and shows fantastic generalization to new problems. It really opens up a scalable path for developing even more advanced AI. Thanks for tuning in to the AI Research Roundup.